Could we start with something very simple like what is photonics? Because when we first met, I didn't know what it was. And I remember you saying to me that you would like the word photonics to be as well known to people as the word quantum is today. Photonics is actually really easy to understand. You know, when I explain that photonics is photons, it's light. When I explain the applications, you know, from the sunlight to the smart lighting. So it's the science of light. It's the science photons. of light. It comes from the Greek. Photons uh, means uh, light in, in, in Greek. People have not heard of photonics. The way that I like to explain it is that electronics is with electrons, photonics is photons. There is not necessarily a country which is leading in photonics, but I would say that Europe is pretty strong. And because the association, we've got members in 33 countries. A computer processor that used to be as big as your house is now the size of a wristwatch. That is the kind of quantum leap that photonics is enabling. Photonics is not just about science and technology. The European Commission has recognized it as a key enabling technology. The European Investment Bank has written reports about it. There are 50 Nobel Prize winners which are related to photonics. Photonics is the core technology that is enabling, for instance, the internet. Everybody uses the internet, but it's all going through optical fibers. That is photonics. All applications which are related to gas sensing, chemical sensing, for security in the airports. The LIDAR of automotives. I don't know how many people know that the LIDAR, the L, stands for light. Photonics finds its way from the mouse rover to fiber optic sensing and aeronautics, power stations, gas pipelines, medical innovations, sensors for automotive, agriculture and industrial applications. What convinces me the most of the importance and growth potential of the photonics industry is that companies such as Apple are investing hundreds of millions of dollars into the technology. Cisco has acquired also a photonics company and the many acquisitions are occurring over the recent years. Photonics is already part of our day-to-day -day life, but it will be increasingly so, but not only making it a little bit better. Photonics is enabling things that we could not even think of today. It's very hard to predict the future, but for sure photonics will be part of that.